Hey guys, welcome to Living in New Hampshire. My name's Cody and I'm a local real estate agent with eXp. In today's video, we're gonna cover the top 10 safest places to live in all of New Hampshire. If you haven't seen part one of this two-part video series, I'll leave the link in the description below. Starting off with number 10, we have Lee. The small town is located on the eastern half of the state within Stratford County, 17 miles west of Portsmouth and 33 miles east of Concord. With an estimated population of under 5,000 residents, the town offers a safe and quiet atmosphere within 30 minutes from the seacoast. That also comes with a price, considering the median home price in Lee is $400,332, which is definitely something to think about if you're working on a tight budget. As for safety, the town's crime rate is 7.6 times lower than the U.S. average. Number 9 is Deerfield. The established town is located within Rockingham County, just 13 miles west of Lee and 20 miles northeast of Manchester. The town is known for the Deerfield Fair, which is New England's oldest family fair that has taken place every fall for the past 144 years. Situated between the coast and the larger cities, the town offers land and privacy with a median home price of $412,673. Combined with a crime rate 7.4 times lower than the U.S. average, makes Deerfield a solid option for growing families. Number 8 is Sandown. The town is located in the southeast region of the state, 12 miles north of Salem and 18 miles east of Manchester. Situated within Rockingham County, only a short drive from the Massachusetts border. The town offers easy access to the nearby cities, especially for those working further south towards Boston. Being further from the coast results in a slightly lower median home price of $394,179, which is still relatively high, even when you factor in their crime rate that's 5.3 times lower than the U.S. average. Number seven is Hopkinton. The town is situated within Merrimack County, just nine miles west of Concord and 24 miles northwest of Manchester. Similar to Deerfield, the town is home to the Hopkinton State Fair, which takes place every year in the village of Contacook. If the ocean isn't your number one priority and you prefer privacy and tranquility, then Hopkinton might be a great choice, especially when you take into account the median home price of $370. $70,535, coupled with a crime rate nine times lower than the U.S. average. Number six is Nottingham, a small town located 29 miles east of Concord and 25 miles northwest of Hampton within Rockingham County. The population is quite small with less than 5,000 residents, similar to many of the small towns in the eastern region of the state. As a whole, New Hampshire's safety can be greatly attributed to the number of small towns that rank well below the U.S. average when comparing crime data. Nottingham is a perfect example of that, considering the town has a crime rate 15.8 times lower than the national average average. As you'd expect, this does come at a price with a median home value of $403,247. Number five is Durham. The college town is located within Stratford County, 34 miles northeast of Manchester and 11 miles northwest of Portsmouth. The town is home to the University of New Hampshire. Founded in 1866, the public college now enrolls over 14,000 students. Unlike many of the towns on this list, Durham has an estimated population of 16,500 and 74 residents. The town has a lot to offer with good schools, a lively upbeat atmosphere, and easy access to Maine. However, if you plan on buying a home, it's important to consider the median home price of $447,584, combined with a crime rate that's 9.8 times lower than the U.S. average. Number four is New Boston. The peaceful town is located within Hillsborough County, 16 miles west of Manchester, just minutes from Goffstown. The area offers a good mix between rural living while being close to the larger cities. With just under 6,000 residents, the town's median home price of $407,230 is relatively high compared to the surrounding areas. It's no surprise that the crime rate is 9.5 times lower than the U.S. average. Number three is Atkinson, the small town located within Rockingham County, just six miles north of Salem and 20 miles west of Seabrook. Similar to many of the towns along the Massachusetts border, 
home values tend to be slightly higher. Atkinson's median price of $452,101 isn't shocking based on its geographic location and overall safety. With only 7,015 residents, the town's crime rate is 12 times lower than the U.S. average. Number two is Brookline. The quaint town is located within Hillsborough County, 12 miles west of Nashua, just minutes outside of Hollis. The town's school district ranks number five in the entire state. Combined with a crime rate that's 15.1 times lower than the U.S. average, and that equates to a highly desirable place to live. Surprisingly, their estimated population is only 5,407 residents. This could be attributed to the median home price of $442,469, which could be a barrier to entry for some home buyers. And number one is Danville. The town is located in Rockingham County, 10 miles north of Salem and 17 miles west of Seabrook. With only 4,387 residents, the town offers a rural environment while providing easy access between Manchester and the seacoast. The convenience of being close to the Massachusetts border comes at a price. Consider Danville's median home value is $412,686, which has increased by 18.5% over the past year. When it comes to safety, that's where the town really shines. Their crime rate is 19.5%. 0.1 times lower than the U.S. average. And that wraps up the video, guys, of the safest places to live in all of New Hampshire. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. It really helps to grow the channel. And as always, if you're thinking about moving to New Hampshire or you just have any questions, I'll leave my contact info in the description below. Thanks for watching.